hi friends welcome back once again here i am in the second video of developing keylogger in c++ i am telling the some and set up some fun uh, normal functions for keylogger so i am here cut the layout and declaring the one function which is very helpful for when i am saving some file and logging keystroke i am name the function save and in the parameter i am typing the int then name of you my variable keystroke and and one type and point to the file so i am declaring here i am hitting the copy from one here and define from bottom now i am defining here and now i am typing basically here closing the function and hitting the return zero now on the in the main loop basically i am starting the one infinite loop and we'll declare one variable type care and starting the one loop which is never ending loop and in here basically i am typing one for if the while condition one one is already one the loop is never being end and so here i am typing for loop and starting and don't forget to end the block and here typing i is equal to start from 8 and i less than equal to 1 90 and i plus plus so why i am defining here for loop from starting from height i am referencing the ascii table go to the ascii table.com and it is the basically ascii table chart you can see from decimal and it start from here and 190 from here i am using this reference chart for key stroking and logging the key strokes so i am tell about later i am basically define the function from here so i am define here if function and don't forget to close the pause in the if function i am use the window api function get async state async key state and it is a basically window function Uh, which is uh, used for determine whether the key is up or down at the time of function is called so used for when the key is press it is basically when the key is down or from keyboard and hit from keyboard is it is basically called and what is the key is called it is now in in the next part i am write the statement if the key is pressed or key is uh, hit the how you can handle this key and uh, log back into the your file or display in your console window so i am typing hit hit i so i am typing in the parameter i and which is declared in character type in here if i am typing 132267767 it is basically when get async key state is i equal to equal to Minus three two seven six seven. It is basically called when the key is up or down, and it is one is equal to equal to this state, and the key is the window API function is telling the log you are you are capturing or you are calling the direct key stroke function which are you logged for capturing. so i am using your save function which i am defining the bottom or declare in the top so in here i am typing i and here i am typing the text log not txt okay now in the bottom if i am go to the my save function and if i am scrolling down and here i am typing see out 
and basically typing the keystroke variable name you can also hold down if space your automatic syntax highlighting or some words are variable or which are declared automatically in your display so you can also use and use end l function for displaying the ending the line so i am control pressing the controllers and i am done the one most part for checking the keystroke is working or not so i am save this file and compile you can check the program is compiled done done successfully so when i am run the program by hitting compile and run it is basically go to infinite loop and it is also capture the mouse movement but i am main focus on the keyboard stroke locking so if i am typing a you can check the it is come down from 65 if i am go back to the reference table and you can check that if i am press a it is for the decimal value 65 if i am tell here typing the it enter it is recording 13 if i am typing here a j a y a j you can check 65 74 for j you can check from here 74 and it is j then face again a and y for you can 89 you can check 89 it is now all raw data for which is the logged by or captured by the my c++ program now in the next video i am tell about how you can save the raw data of the program into the output file so thank you guys for watching Please subscribe my channel. Thank you guys.